Okay, so uh, this video is going to be all about uh, the first painting session and uh, maybe you can see hanging here are some of the bits that are going into the first uh, painting session. Uh, connecting rods, coupling rods and uh, cranks. And you might be wondering why uh, they're going to be painted. They're actually going to be painted red. It's uh, The locomotive is... An, is uh, um, based on narrow gauge prototype and they quite often had red uh, motion so um, they're going to be painted red all the pieces you can see hanging here they've all been degreased and um, and keyed the surfaces have all been keyed so of all the bits and pieces oh we'll go down to this one as well to the smoke box there it is Get him in focus if we can. Yeah, there he is. The smoke box. All these pieces have, have been are sort of ready to be painted now. Take them downstairs, take them to the spray booth. Uh, then they'll get a final final degrease, a final blow, blow off to get uh, get rid of any dust that's on them, and then um, and then they'll be painted. So here we have uh, some of the yeah large pieces I just wanted to put this one here as well for the small uh, <coughs> for the cranks here you can see um, I've actually put them in a block of wood and uh, you may also notice that um, with these cranks I've got them on I've actually put some M3 screws through here let me see if you can get this focused see these M3 uh, I put these M3 screws through here and this is just to assist in holding the piece uh, when I'm actually spraying. And uh, once I've sprayed the piece, then it will go back um, into its hole in the block of wood to dry out. Uh, the tender, you can also see on the tender, I've used some more M3 screws. I've actually screwed them into the, uh, the beams, the frame beams frame spaces and now and the reason for that is twofold first of all it protects the screw thread that's been tapped into uh, the spacer from being clogged up with paint when I'm spraying it um, but it also if I turn it up you can see it's got it looks like it's got feet and this will help with the drying process so I can um, lay it down flat on these feet without actually um, interfering with the drying process of the paint that's actually on the frame so uh, that's, that's the tender that's ready I'll just put that aside and um, similarly with um, similarly with the loco frame again uh, screw uh, M3 screws through the spaces uh, so that I can stand it up upside down again but then it for it during the drying process uh, you also notice that the um, uh, the brass bushes bushes for the um, wheel axles that have been that were pre-pressed into the frame by roundhouse have actually uh, masking tape them off so um, there's the chassis frame ready for painting I'll just put that aside okay this is the actual boiler I've taken some of the fittings off um, why am I spraying the boiler well, I'm not actually going to be painting uh, uh, the whole boiler um, in situ uh, there's going to be uh, a couple of areas in the boiler that are going to be visible and not covered with anything else and that's going to be around the base of the water filler and uh, safety valve assembly uh, and also around the back head around the back head of um, the boiler so I'm going to be painting the back head the uh, pipe that goes to the pressure gauge and let's say the first third of uh, on, on the top of the loco and around 
the water filler and the safety valve housing. So where I'm holding it now with my hand that won't be uh, painted. And this will be uh, just like the rest, it will be uh, etch primed and um, similarly to the uh, smoke box this will be painted black um, using heat resistant paint. The, we, I've already um, keyed up the inside of the wheels. I've decided that I'm actually going to paint the uh, the inside of the wheels, the inner face of the wheels if you like, uh, black. So it's from the turned part where the axle fits in up, and, up until the shoulder here. So this particular section that's in here, I'm going to be painting all that black. I think that looks better. Real locomotives never had uh, gleaming uh, uh, stainless steel wheels uh, like that. So there's the tender wheels. Um, for the loco wheels, I've actually sort of temporarily fitted them to the axles. They're fitted with uh, grub screws, so I've just nipped them there, so it makes it easy to to uh, to uh, to hold. And similarly, uh, I've keyed up the space between the machine part of where the axle fits in and uh, and uh, the outside edge. So I'm just going to be painting black this particular section here on all four and I'm going to be doing this by hand so I'm going to be priming it with by hand with a with a just with a normal uh, paintbrush and applying the top coat in a similar way okay guys we're in my uh, garden shed that has been quickly converted to a spray booth uh, you can see there on the work mate I've got the box I've got a oh I don't know if you can see that but I've got a hook hanging hanging there in case I need it. Etch primer, there's the first component to be painted, the, the chassis, loco chassis. The next one waiting to go will be the tender and then all the other components. Now I'm using a certain order to paint them because um, I've been figuring out how they all going to pass in the oven or ovens in a minute and I'm going to be doing it in two batches because I haven't got enough room to do them all in one go so and I've got a two kilowatt heater there going by the way outside it's about 10 degrees inside it's a lot warmer so um, hopefully we can do some spraying today and uh, keep the amount of dust down to a minimum perhaps I'll um, in the film I'll put some stills up some some photos up as we go along uh, I won't be filming as we go along because I'm going to be much too busy but um, I'll try and put something up that sort of details that shows what gives you an idea of the progress of uh, the painting today okay hope you can uh, understand me okay I'm talking through my uh, my spray mask spray paint mask as you can see uh, this is just some of the parts that I've just got in the primer so, and there's the, remember the uh, rear third of the boiler that I wanted to get in the primer, there he is. And uh, that's the cab floor behind that. Okay, so here's um, some slime slides that I took during the, during the painting. Uh, I'd just like to say why these slides are coming through, that um, the procedure that I use to actually uh, paint these parts are based on a uh, very good article by a guy called Chris Bird from Summerlands Chuffer uh, uh, called Painting Locos the Easy Way and uh, you can find that on the internet and I'll just uh, leave a link to that, to that article and to uh, uh, Chris's Summerlands Chuffer in the description and you can uh, read that later at your leisure but um, yeah there's the wheels that are hand painted and uh, uh, let's get back to the video So here we have the result of yesterday's painting. Got uh, quite a few bits and pieces here on the table. So these can be uh, fed into the rest of the build process. Let's take a look. We've got the local chassis there, tender chassis, the drawbar, 
and uh, um, oil box set from from um, the oil box set from uh, local works is in there as well I'm particularly pleased with uh, the smoke box and it's a slightly different color uh, perhaps more a matte color than the, the, than the rest this is because it's been uh, painted with uh, heat resistant paint uh, the same goes for the head of the boiler there we've got the wheels local wheels and tender wheels and then we've got the cab floor there with the um, servo frame fitted with a servo frame fitted Still waiting to go into the the oven to bake off our uh, coupling rods, connecting rods, and the cranks for the wheels. They'll be going into the oven shortly. That's it for this video about painting, and in the next video we should be uh, continuing with the build. Hope to see you then. Bye bye.